Hi guys, it's John here, and this is an emulation test on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. So the Fold 5 comes with the latest for Galaxy Snapdragon HN2, which packs in the Adreno 740 GPU. So this is really the perfect phone for emulation. You can see here we've got a series of different emulators that we're gonna try out today. So we are gonna be looking at PS2 games as well. I did actually forget to record them, so I've added in slightly later. That's why it's not on the home screen here. But yeah, look in the time codes and you'll be able to skip to whichever console you're interested in. We're gonna start off with Citro, which is a DS emulator, and we're just gonna see how it fares. So as we can see in Citra, it's pretty good on most games. It is obviously a bit stuttery there on the audio, but overall not too bad at all. So let's do a bit of GameCube emulation now. So you can see there, Double Dash and Legend of Zelda running absolutely fine. Super Mario Sunshine as well, also does great. We're just gonna move on to the Wii now and we'll just go through and you'll see how well this runs as well. Okay, again, you can see on the Wii emulation, absolutely fine, locked at 60 frames per second pretty much. So nothing to worry about there with the Dolphin emulator. So you can see that in Crash Bandicoot, absolutely no problems running at 60 FPS. So we'll just do a quick bit of uh, Tekken 3 here. So again, no problem there at all with the PSX emulator. Works absolutely great. So we're gonna move on to the PSP emulator and we're just going to God of War just to start off.
you can see PSP working absolutely fine as well. No problems at all with any of the games. Okay, so here we are on Ether SX2 and we're doing a bit of Burnout Revenge. Okay, and here we have uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Had to turn the music off, sadly, but uh, you'll be able to see that this runs at a flawless 60 FPS. Let's pop into a Dreamcast game now. Redream works really well. It's just, this is probably the, one of the best emulators I've ever found. It's perfect emulation every time. And as you can see, 60 FPS pretty much locked all the time as well. Okay, so we're in the Egg NS emulator now, and this is where having a four x three screen is not really suitable. You can see it's stretched out here. We will have to just change this when it loads into the game. Into 16 by nine now, and as you can see, it's working pretty well here. So you can see here, Breath of the Wild, we've got some really good frame rates here. It's running between 25 and 30 FPS. Do you get some graphical glitches every now and again, as you can see? So I'd say this isn't really playable. I mean, the frame rate's fine, but these sort of graphical glitches are making it a bit, uh, bit difficult to see what's going on. So let's try another game and see how it looks. So you can see that it's working really well in Super Mario Odyssey. Just drop every now and again to, you know, between 50 and 60, but most of the time it is on 60 and it's more than playable. As you can see, it feels really nice. Here's a bit of Mario Kart 8, just to see how it runs.
a few graphical issues as you can see, but it is running nice and smooth at around 60. It is dropping every now and again and there's lots of action on the screen. But yeah, overall it does work, but as you can see, there are a few sort of graphical glitches. So hopefully these are just things that will be improved with the emulator as time goes on. So that was my look at how emulators run on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and as you can see most of them are pretty amazing. When you've got the high processor requirement of EGNS for the Nintendo Switch that is a massive load to carry for it so it's doing really well with that. It is quite warm after all that so if we just have a quick look we're about 37 degrees so not that hot it could be a lot worse I imagine but uh, yeah it has done really well I think with all the emulators today. But yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below and hopefully this is helpful if it was please do like and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification and thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.